when you became the England manager and we did, I don't know if you remember, we did the launch yeah. of the European Championships, the yes. Champions League at the, the mayor's office. Do you remember? Yes. I was really thrilled for you that you'd got your chance to be England manager. And I knew, and we had a conversation, I'll never forget it, of just how excited you were. You were buzzing for this opportunity. You're really excited to get the chance to be England manager um, and to take hold of the national side, something you'd always wanted to do and you'd always, you know, any manager would would dream of doing. Obviously, that went horribly wrong for you. And I, I sort of, I wonder how you feel about that time now. Is it still her or have you managed to sort of put to bed what happened? You'll never forget what they did to you. No, you'll never forget that. But you, you, but you have to get, you have to try and get on with your life. I mean, you know, the times when your mind drifts back to it will always happen. And, and the, the, you know, the, the fact of the matter is that when you've been stitched up, you've been stitched up good and proper, and that's the uh, the ultimate end of it. That was the case, like you mean, no. And of course, yeah. the FA wasn't strong enough, Ben, and I can't talk too much about them because of because of the confidentiality we've we got. But the FA never, ne if they'd have been patient for just a couple of weeks, it would have all seemed to be what it was. Where because I didn't break any third party rules, never mm. broke one, and they actually admitted that in the Houses of Parliament. But that was too late for me. Good old Steve Parish kept me sane. Because he came for me and he got me back uh, out of a very deep, deep depression at the time, like me, because I couldn't stop thinking about it and I wasn't doing anything. But Steve said, "Come and, come and save us, Sam. Come and save us at the palace." And uh, you know, I loved, loved working with him and loved working with the team and the fans. Just enjoyed every single minute of it. Do you wish you'd never left Sunderland for England? No. Cammy, I don't. I, I, I couldn't, no. could not believe that they were going to give me the job or consider me. It was a chance that we threw our hat in the ring. To have a chance to manage England after you've just kept Sunderland up was just, just too, just too good for me. And I felt, I felt right. Me and Sammy felt good. We we're going to get into building a team to try and win the World Cup, which was very, very exciting. Um, but mm. unfortunately, cut short for me, which is. You know, a great, a great killer, great killer blow, if you like. One you, it's one you were put to the side, but you never get over. You know what I mean? Never really get over it. But I have got a hundred percent record. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> the best record of an England manager. 